strong profit growth earnings today, beating analyst forecasts. Tell us about the results. Well, I think across the board, uh, uh, we saw very strong growth. I think if you look at the individual countries, we saw strong growth. And if you look at all the, the financial metrics, so whether it's value of new business up 26%, whether it's operating profit after tax up 17%, whether it's ANP, our sales up 29%, all of these are very strong figures. And I think it's, it's a, a performance that is broad-based across a number of different countries. The country's operating well and the financials are clearly coming through. Where is growth coming from within Asia? We saw growth in every market, so every market was, uh, was positive. Uh, we saw tremendous growth really throughout the region, strong growth here in Hong Kong, uh, all, all the way to, to, to very strong growth in our emerging markets. Our other market category uh, grew 67% uh, this year, which includes Australia, includes Indonesia, includes the Philippines. So right across our businesses, we, uh, we were delighted at the performance. With the current financial reforms in China, how does that affect your business outlook in the country? Well, I think if you, if you look at the overall effect there, you, you have sort of the, the, the macro picture and the micro picture. The micro picture with AIA, we saw 27% growth in VONB. Uh, we saw strong growth in, in operating profit after tax. Uh, the business is doing very well. It's continuing to, to, to grow. Uh, on a macro sense, uh, clearly some slowdown. Uh, but we remain tremendously optimistic about China. I think we see growth still over the next five years as being in the 7 to 8 percent range. Uh, uh, we see the factors uh, for the insurance business around the emerging middle class, around demographics, around underpenetration, around savings rates. All of these are critical factors. And then you have urbanization on top of that. These are the most important trends for the life insurance business rather than worrying about uh, what happens in markets daily. We don't worry about mm -hmm what happens in markets daily. It's these longer term trends will sustain our business. One of the pending reforms from Beijing is that insurers like yourself will be allowed to set your own rate. What are your views on that? Again, I think we've seen liberalization of rates through the different markets uh, uh, over time. We think this will not have a material effect. Uh, I think the opportunities, the rates are just one element of our pricing. Uh, and I think there are many other elements that we, we would consider in this, as will uh, all, all insurance companies. So this is a positive step, uh, but I think it's, uh, we, we don't think it will have a material effect.